and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. We're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines you will absolutely love. So, we're in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> we're in uh, South Africa. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we are, John. We are in South Africa. Oh, how did you say it? South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Very close, John. Very close. Oh, I almost felt like I was there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, go, we'll definitely go with that. Isn't it? We are in South Africa. <laughs> this is part two of our episode about Savion Blancs in it? South Africa. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the episodes around this one will also be uh, about Savion Blancs, but <laughs> they're from different countries. So we've done Chile, uh, New Zealand. New Zealand, we have done. And did we do Argentina? I believe we, yes, we did yeah, do Argentina yeah. and France. Yes. Yes, yep. and we have one more to do, which will be Sanseur, which is also France, but actually Sanseur, which is a, a region. But that's I correct, yeah, there's a region within France. France which is deemed to grow the best Sauvignon Blanc. Right in the world. Mm, so that would be a... Ooh, that would be interesting. Well, it will be interesting, mm -hmm. yes. But, for the moment, we are in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> you didn't stop doing that. <laughs> we, we salted all our South African viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I've been had under the trade descriptions now, South African viewer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, would you like to try some of this? Yes, we're going to try well, some. It's called porcupine, I believe. <laughs> it is, yeah. Okay. Please try some South African wine. <laughs> is it called South African? It's called, it's called por porcupine. Ridge. Porcupine Ridge, yeah. Ridge, yes. <coughs> that, yes, Pokemon Ridge. That, that makes me think of an uncomfortable sitting position. Yeah, it's not the... the and I don't know. And, and ridge on a ridge and yeah. porcupine. And I don't think that's the best label, which obviously will come up at some point, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that. I, I don't know, it's, what, what would you call that label? It's a porcupine. It's a, um, okay. Well, you'll see it just there. It's a very modern, modern label, we'll call it. Okay. <coughs> but a lot of people do choose wines for the label. They do. They do. And they to be do. fair, they, you know, you, know, the, you could do worse, couldn't you? You could. I understand uh, quite a. There's a lot of studying done on, on labels, and especially in places um, uh, like Japan, where you know a lot of significance is given to the label. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me at all, at yeah. all. Um, right. So ah, uh, so much lighter, much much lighter, and this actually has, although it has that kind of nice lemony, this this has a green. This is I that green see, yeah, hue. Just just. Virgin on it. Yeah, that yeah. Means, that's that, that is that is the sov that is the sovereign that I would look for with that nice green hue. Okay. Um, so let's have a look on the nose. Hmm. That's yeah. More hits the spot. Yeah, yeah. You do, you just say yeah to that one. It has um for sovereign. Yeah, for a sovereign that that is a very obvious sovereign. That has you see the, the cut green grasses in there. Yes. But it's also. No cat sweet. No cat sweet. Not yet. No. Not yet. Yeah, you know, I did. I did a private taste in the day, and I was trying. I was trying really hard to find that cat sweet again. But I don't know if I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm overly doing it now. But yeah, I think it's one of those things. You either get it or you don't. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I didn't get it then. I'm, I'm not getting it now. No, I'm not. That's fine. But there's almost um, an underlying. Although it has got that. Oh. Although it has got. That's citrus in there, the cooked green grass. It almost has the kind of tropical fruits underneath there. There is, there's an extra layer on that, which is, for me, interesting. <laughs> it is interesting, because as, you know, number, without, without comparing all the time, but number one just had, mm, yeah, yeah. This, this has just got a little bit more about it. This one yeah. where you can t take a little bit more time about it. So let's, let's get it going. Let's okay. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Yes, that's um, definitely more the, the Sauvignon I'm used to, or more akin to, or what I would recognise as a Sauvignon. And it's a lot, it's not as um, indigestion provoking as I would have thought. No, it's no, no. Acidity, I guess, I mean. Yeah, 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 it's the acidity, but no, 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 you, you are completely correct there because although, although it has that, the style of the Sauvignon, then the acidity is there. But it's not, as you say, sometimes, I've said it a million times, but sometimes you can touch your lips and know that that's going to burn or know that's going to hurt. That doesn't have that all. I could easily do a, a bottle of that yeah. one. 
And you wouldn't necessarily need anything to eat with this, would you? No, no. Nice and complex in its own right. Again, the, the, the citrus has come through beautifully on, on, on the palate there. Mm. And it's, it's got m much better length. Um, this is one that makes you want to kind of suck it through the front, front of your teeth. Like, yeah. <coughs> a little bit more about it, definitely. Yeah. More than number, number one. Um, kind of hangs on in there. And this is what we said in, um, in, in the first part. Hand and ball, you could just, you know, sup, sup away. This is commanding again that little bit more respect. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that you could drink. Sat on your own. Yeah. No, no friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not sharing. Yeah. You can have yeah. that and appreciate it. Because you, I mean, even on the nose there, that is one way you could just sit and, and love it. You yeah. could like that. You could definitely like that. I like it. Yeah, very much. Well. This reminds me of, I'm, I, had, I had a boss once that, uh, once the business, day's business was done, he always used to, before going out in the evening and entertaining clients, always used to go back to his hotel bedroom and um, enjoy a bottle of uh, Sauvignon or some other wine. Um, a bottle? Yes. Before? Sometimes he invited me in. What, to share the bottle or just watch him drink it? <laughs> no, he let, me, he let me drink the class as well. Okay. Yeah. Before going out onto the... Yes, he was a Scotsman. <laughs> okay, fair do, fair do. Because that's quite a quite a thing to. Yes, he he, he could really absorb. One of those individuals could really absorb alcohol, and it didn't seem to affect him. Right. <laughs> chin chin to that gentleman. Yes. Chin chin <laughs> Joe. Chin chin Joe. So, okay, well let's let's go with um. So obviously again, no, we, we, I don't know price. You don't know price. I don't know price. I put it a long while ago. Um, I'm going to say I I would. I know, we know that it comes from Sainsbury's because I recognise the label, yep. so I'm letting that influence me. I'm going to say, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to come down in between, I, I'm thinking somewhere between 650, 750, I'm going to say 750. Okay, I wouldn't disagree with you. I would perhaps even pay a little bit more. I'd probably go to the next bracket and say 750 to 850, mm -hmm. I, th I think. I think it's well worth that money, well worth it. Um, as it's, yeah, for a sewing on, yeah. But, in a supermarket, it probably is going to be cheaper than what I've said, isn't it? But I'm sticking with 750 to 850. You might be right. You might be right. But you will see here, I yeah. assume again. Um, so, um, points wise. Point wise, mm. okay. So for a Savion, um, well, actually just for wine, for getting the Savion, I'd, I'd, I'd whop this up to 73. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Again, I wouldn't disagree with you on that. Um, I'd probably. Again, I'd probably just go a little bit more than you and, and take it, but to just to, not massively, I'd probably say 75, 75. Okay. We'll go, massively, obviously, for me, we've said, it is, it, the price thing does make a massive difference to my um, point system, but if I was just doing that as, we're trying to forget the price, yeah, 75, 75, okay. a, ni a nice solving, you know, not massively outstanding, you know, I'm, I'm not going to... You know, shout from the rooftops, but it, that is a good Sauvignon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's not something that you're going to say, uh, you're, you're going to recommend because it's spectacular from the point of view, you must try this. Mm. Uh, but it's one that actually is an everyday wine that's, that's very, mm. very tasty. And you say, on its own. Stands yeah, on its own. Well, I think I hit, you've hit the nail on the head there by saying an everyday wine. Yeah. If that was in that bracket, let's, let's front, I suppose, say it was 750. Yeah. That quality, that is an everyday wine. And very nice it is too. I could mm. drink that every day. Mm. Yeah, I shouldn't drink it every day, but I could. Who told you that? You'd be fine. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Okay, so that's two down for South Africa. I think the, the thing that we, when we did the New Zealand, the New Zealand was b the best of the bunch. I think New Zealand is still sort of out there in front, I think, so I think far. it is so far, yeah. But we've got one more to try from South Africa. Uh, that one I think is from Marks and Spencers. Okay. So we're going to give that a whirl and see where that takes South Africa. And we'll see you there, hopefully, part three. Chin chin. See you there. Ciao.